yeah hello guys uh here paper 2016 may june uh three one we are doing paper three paper three contains data analysis and website authoring so first we'll go for website authoring uh here task one open the file Uh, 1631 evidence.rtf make sure your name and a number candidate number will appear on every page of the uh, document by placing these details in the header okay fine so let's do that go to the folder here this is the document and evidence document Yeah, in the header, they want the details. Uh, insert header, three columns. So first, name, center number, and candidate number. okay uh save this evidence document as a save this evidence document as a board process document in your work area as a this name followed by your candidate number uh for example like this okay let's save this go to file uh save as we will save in the same uh, folder here uh evidence here we have to add our uh, candidate number then we have to change the format or the type to word 97 save yes this is done you will need your uh, evidence document during the examination uh, to enter answers to questions and to place your screenshots in when required okay that we are going to do next task two web page you are going to help some trainees develop web pages for the manta con conservation project the first web page will be part of a website used to re raise awareness of and get donations for conservation projects around the world okay that is understood create a new folder called 1631 underscore html let's copy this name and we have to go to the folder uh, right click new folder and copy the name there okay that we did look at the following files and place them in your uh, 1631 underscore HTML folder. What are they? Uh, 16 flag, and all these are PNG files. One, two, three, four, eight PNG files are there. Okay, and uh, PD. This is a PDF. Flags dot PDF. Where's flags dot PDF? Yes, this we have to place in uh, the folder then image one two three four five six seven and logo as well where they are yes all these how many eight so all this we have to place here the stand and maldives dot htm manta dot htm uh, Maldives and Manta. These two should go to the folder. Uh, Manta.jpg, Manta1tif, and style sheet as well. Manta is jpg file and Manta1tif, uh, and uh, what is the other one? Style sheet as well. 
Okay. These are the ones. How many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Uh, here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, fourteen. Exactly. Okay, this is done. Fully. Now, three. Uh, trainee has started to create a, a single style sheet to be used with the website. The style sheet was not finished and contains a number of errors. Open the style sheet. 1631 style sheet.css in a suitable software package. Okay, uh, where is uh, this? Let's open front page. Okay, we have to open front page Microsoft Office front page 2003. Okay, fine. So go to file, open. We have to open from this, right? Uh, we have to open where we uh, have our folder. Just go to the folder, your folder. Tray one. See ya. 1631 style sheet. Okay, only this much it got. The web page and style sheet must uh, work in any browser. All color codes are in hexadecimal. So, to make the work style sheet and uh, the uh, web page, we have to use front page. That's the most common uh, Microsoft software uh, to use. It is flexible. Make sure your style sheet contains no HTML. The specifications for this style sheet are okay. We'll start editing that. Now let's just I'll delete this whole thing. We don't need it. Fine. Now we will start ourselves. Table tag. It got a grid lines. Grid lines, borders, and headers. So, grid lines are those uh, horizontal and vertical lines in a table, inside the table. Borders is around the table. Okay. So, grid lines, all grid lines solid. Internal grid lines, one pixel thick. External grid lines are, are two pixels thick. Okay. Now, let's go for. The first one, uh, go to format, style, first tag, uh, HTML tags. In this, we'll go to the table. First one, table, uh, this one. Here, what uh, all stuff we have to edit. Grid lines, all grid lines are solid. External grid lines, the ones of border. Okay, all borders collapsed. Uh, external grid lines to thick. This one is of TD tags. Okay, TD. This applies to TD property. So we will set that in first for the table. We will set uh, external grid lines and uh, all borders collapsed and they are solid. Okay, any color concept is there? Color concept, uh, it's not there for now. Okay, now table uh, here, format, borders. Here box is a solid. Okay, solid. Here you can see solid and with this 2px, 2px. Okay, and uh, padding is nothing, just uh, delete all this kind of paddings.
they are solid uh, to pixels and what else yeah this we will uh, type in manually we'll type in manually okay so okay 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 fine after this one take a semicolon so borders clap collapse uh, two dots colon collapse fine this is done okay now we'll go for td other one is there format style for internal grid lines uh, td here borders and they are also solid borders but here one pixel one px and uh, delete this all padding delete key i'm pressing okay 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 so just get this to the next line this is done now we'll go for the next Oh, no table headers details specified if there is no header at all so we don't need to mention it okay now we'll go to the next uh, h1 color uh, are red green and blue and font also it got so let's uh, do that format style uh, here now h1 we have to take h1 the highest uh, size he header size heading size h1 and here we have to go for the color font and here color uh, more colors and here the color code is uh, 330066 first is 33 uh, and 66 is it correct okay uh, this is done okay now uh, they want a font style uh, how we take care of something new but if not available then calibrate uh, and if these fonts are not available the browser's default sans serif font okay then 36 and alignment center uh, here what's the name call h H E something or just we can go for uh, Calibri history we can go for Calibri and also we'll add that okay then uh, here alignment we have to see or paragraph alignment is center uh, and we have the the size font size font size how much font size is um, 36 Okay, 36, uh, 36, PT. Okay, then uh, all are done. Sans serif default, we will just uh, type in there. Okay, okay. So here H1, we got. Uh, font size 36 font family calibri then after this after calibri comma uh, sans serif it's a default okay this is done next sorry here border just it's a border not borders oh, is here it's a borders no it's just border uh, next Next uh, question. 
yeah, this is fully done. Oh, till here. H2, we have again. Yes, let's go to H2. Uh, format style. Now, HTML tags. H2. H2 got uh, the color code as um, 000008. Okay, uh, format, font, automatic, more colors. Uh, here, 00. Zero 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 something. Uh, H two is oh here here sorry. Sure. Ninety nine thirty three zero zero. Sorry. Ninety nine thirty three zero zero. Okay. Once uh, I'll just make sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. Fine. Done. And when it comes to the font, Arial 18 and right. Okay, here Arial, Arial, and here 18 points, 18 PT. Okay, and the, for the alignment, we have to go to paragraph. Uh, it is what? It's right. Right alignment. Okay, okay okay so here we can just press this h2 is also done p paragraph got a color and also the fonts browser's default sans serif okay uh yeah fine zero 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 eight okay now let me go to uh, again format uh style HTML tags here we have to go for P just P P for paragraph uh, here font let's go to the color uh, okay here 00 00 then here 0 8 just once let me check okay done okay and uh, what is the font of uh, font is default is sans serif okay we will type in there uh, 14 points and alignment left 14 points here 14 points fine and the alignment left okay 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 so here we are see here this font family we can just copy okay we can just copy and paste here somewhere and here we type in sans serif hyphen serif okay save one or any more what else the questions left p is also done paragraph body uh, background color only okay background color body color background color okay uh, go to format style uh, HTML tags body we have to body there's a one body and here what is a background color fine so uh, with this uh, borders shading and here comes background more colors it got a, some color code uh, what's the color code 99 ccff uh, here 99 cc ff okay and okay yes here is the body okay save okay now anything more this also done just 
uh, correct and complete the style sheet using the, uh, the information about that we did just now. Save the style sheet in your uh, this folder. Use the file name 1631st. Okay. Now let's copy this name uh, followed by your candidate number. For example, if your candidate number is something like this, then we have to add uh, at, at last to the name. Okay. Uh, let's save this file save as if you have to save in this folder they are saying and uh, to this we have to what is the name we have to add this one then we have to add our uh, candidate number okay in the folder what they said we have to save okay you can see here next Okay. Now take a screenshot showing the uh, content of your style sheet and place uh, this in your evidence document to make sure that the file name is clearly visible. Okay. Uh, here we have to take a screenshot. Press print screen button. Uh, first open light shot. Uh, then print screen button we can press and they want to see the file name clearly there okay even we can just show uh, like this where is the file name your file name you can show this okay and you can just or just this one arrow you can take you can just show this Okay. Now let's take a uh, copy and go to the folder. Folder and we have evidence. Where is the evidence? Evidence is here. Where we have to place evidence. Evidence 1. Select and paste. Okay. Save. Now we'll go to the question paper. This is done. Step four: Analyze the uh, style sheet started by the trainee and evaluate its contents. Uh, type your evaluation into uh, into your evidence document using no more than hundred words. So here analyzing the trainee's uh, style sheet in the beginning what we got that one uh, we have to write our views on it what could be the errors uh, means what what were the errors and how did he write and all we have to uh, analyze and write a few points fine so we have to open uh, our uh, folder uh, where is the old style sheet? This is the one. Okay, let me open through uh, Microsoft front page file uh, open. Yeah, this is the one. Only this much. Table th and td border with four pixels is written. Okay. Uh, and there is an equal to as well. We never use equal to. Yeah, border width, it should be uh, no colon, right? It should be colon. And uh, uh, th, we don't use it. It's a table's header. No, it's not there. Table's header is not there, it is said. So, but still, we used a table header there. Yeah. And uh, what else? Yeah, he placed this curly braces properly. Curly braces are, are okay, fine. And uh, what else? That's it. Okay, and other uh, other uh, uh, tags are not mentioned. Other tags he didn't mention at all. Uh, other attributes he did not mention. Okay, uh, we have uh, only width is mentioned. We have the internal grid lines, uh, uh, width and all, uh, and borders and all. He did not mention anything of that. 
point so we are going to write about it here a place text for evidence to here so we will write points what we uh, have just discussed the training did not mention all the attributes of the uh, of the table tag as it's given in the question paper uh, the border width is given four pixels he he mentioned border width as four pixels actual but it's two pixels only uh, next there is an uh, e equal to sign after the attribute name which is not correct it should be colon Uh, he mentioned th which is not required um, the color braces are properly used Okay, these are enough. Okay, this is done. Question number five. Open the file 1631 manta.html using a suitable software package. It has the style sheet saved in step three uh, on this web page. Okay, we have to attach. Uh, 1631 manta.htm okay uh, we can just close this and just save once and close this now we have to open uh, htm open the file swan manta.htm this one okay and we have to attach uh, the uh, style sheet okay format style sheet links add uh, from where we have to go to our folder again folder folder uh, my folders in D documents white 
of uh, in this okay this is the one our uh, style sheet yeah we saved it with our name okay yeah we got it like this Or replace the text candidate name center number candidate number with your name center number and candidate number uh, where is it here candidate number uh, candidate name just select and type in okay center number then candidate number okay save this to our term Replace the text uh, place logo here with the image 1631.logo.png. Make sure that appropriate text is displayed with this image uh, if this image is not displayed. Uh, displayed. That's nothing but it is a uh, alternate text they are talking about. In case the picture doesn't uh, appear on the uh, in the browser due to connectivity issues or internet uh, 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 no low bandwidth and all so in place of that image the name appears okay that is called alternate text okay here just only this much okay go to insert picture from file uh, which one it is logo dot jpg this one okay this is a picture now right click go to picture properties general here is the text okay what is the text just we type in logo Okay, or TMCP logo something something else so we can type okay TMCP underscore logo okay seven is done uh, make the image 1631 logo dot a hyperlink to send an email message to uh, this we have to copy this email address copy uh, with the subject line tell me more okay that image the logo we have to make an uh, hyperlink right click hyperlink okay email address what we uh, copied just paste it okay and subject what is the subject uh, tell me more copy this and paste here in under subject okay okay this is done select the most appropriate images from the uh, from those saved in step 2 and use them to replace the following test oh uh, yeah we saved all those images in the inner folder okay so from that we have to pick ourselves place flag of Fiji here uh here in this find select insert picture from file uh which is a fiji figure go on please Uh, here what we have is you may use the file 1631 flags.pdf for the help so which um, uh, country's flag is which one that we can find out now let's go to the folder 
uh, where is that flag it is here this is a Fiji uh, then we need Honduras uh, Indonesia and Maldives these four are needed okay let's remember the flag flags then we'll go to uh, let's insert under Fiji here Fiji's flag insert uh, picture from file the first one okay the second one Honduras insert picture from file uh, this is Honduras Indonesia insert picture from file uh, only two colors record okay Maldives insert picture from file this one like a half something more okay done fine now let's go to the uh, question we can close this this is a question Reasses each of these images to be 140 pixels wide, maintaining the aspect ratio. Okay, uh, no, here 140 pixels. Select, right click, go to picture properties. Uh, here at the bottom size, we have a width 140 pixels, and uh, make sure this pixels is selected and aspect ratio has been selected. Okay, okay, next. Second one, third and four also will do the same thing. Uh, 140 pixels. Here also 140 pixels. The last one as well. 140 pixels. Okay, just save the work once. Now let's go to the equation paper. Um, display the web page in your browser. Take a screenshot evidence of this web page in the browser and place it in your evidence document. Okay, this is the one we have to open in browser. For that, we have to go to the uh, folder. Just refresh once. Refresh. Here is Manta. This is the name we are we've been editing. Right click, open with. It's up to you in which you take. Just Google Chrome. I'll open in. Yes. So this should be like this. It's just I'll close other tabs. Uh, uh, it's screenshot we have to take. Okay. Press print screen button then just select the whole thing whole thing okay the title bar should be appearing this this is the title bar should be appearing it shows that we opened in a browser okay make sure this is uh, there in the screenshot now copy this go to the evidence evidence is here evidence is here so where we have to place it yeah this is the one okay i'm just taking question number nine i'm taking it again control v yes this what just click on save minimize it now we have the question paper take a copy of the HTML source and place it in your evidence document of this even HTML source they won't see uh, just open this code this whole thing control uh, a then control C Okay, control A and control C. Now go to evidence folder. 
evidence form. Now, this is what you get. See, I pasted it already over here. The whole thing from here. Just to press or click there and paste. It's the whole thing. Okay, now equation paper. We have to write evidence there. Okay, evidence four. Now, this is evidence, this one. Evidence four. Okay. Fine. Now, next question. The tree has started to develop the Maldives page for this site. The image 1631matter1.tip has been supplied to them to be included on this page. Examine the file uh, 1631matter1.tip. Explain in your uh, evidence document why this image is unsuitable for inclusion on the Maldives web page and what do you uh, what you could do to enable it to be used okay now let's go to the folder uh, here you see this is the file 1631 manta 1 uh, if you take the cursor over there you see it's uh, files uh, properties like you know short information type is tiff t i f or uh, t i f f as well we can take so it's a tagged image file format or our tag image file format this is the file format where it is loaded up with lots of size and the um, uh, means the memory and also the large in size these are the files and this can work on you no know, uh, like you no know, multiple web pages and all so for that reason they just make like this tiff file uh, but this uh, no, for a single web page it's, it's quite heavy no and loading the file the, the, this this image when we load the uh, web page it takes a lot of time lot of time and you see the dimensions of it it's a very large uh, picture like it's 4320 into 3240 it's a very large picture uh, and the size is 40 MB so it's nothing but uh, no 4000 mb approximately more than uh, means uh, or more or less it's 4000 kb it is 4000 kb so it, you know it's a very large picture so that doesn't fit on uh, that web page that's what the trainee was trying to do yes this is what we are going to write about uh, in the evidence okay so go to evidence After this, where we are supposed to write um, question paper five. Type your explanation uh, into your evidence document using not more than hundred words. So here, here we are supposed to type in. Fine. So let's start with number one. The file extension dot tiff is quite heavy file format and here we see this image is quite large in dimensions and dimensions and the file size is too much therefore
placing it on web page will be a tedious process as it takes more time to load onto web page and when we open web page in any uh, internet connected browser it can take a lot of time to download it fine so what could be the solutions yes what could be the solutions so solution could be like change the uh, file type to uh, any any uh, like lighter si lighter um, extension of file types like we have bitmap image type it is uh, like bmp we call it dot bmp and uh, we can uh, no crop or reduce the uh, dimensions of dimensions of the the image but there could be no uh, issue that uh, we may lose uh, the the details of the image okay so same thing will write there could be an issue of losing the details okay this is what we got from this this is enough now let's go to the question this is done 10 this is all done edit the file 1631 manta 1 tiff to make it suitable uh, for a web page place this image in the web page yeah first know what we are going to do we're going to change the file type fine uh, and diamond will compress we can compress yeah one more uh, point is there that we can do solution could be even the compressing you have reduce in the sense reduce in the sense like a cropping it is crop or reduce the dimensions of the image or a compress compress the file fine save now that we're going to do so we're going to change the file type uh, to bitmap and the second thing is we'll compress the file so for doing this we will use any uh, the image editing software open with here we have microsoft picture manager it's fine so it's always there in your systems so it's a default okay this is the image edit picture fine now compress the picture for what for the page we are compressing you see there when we compress it became just 5.1 kb just kb oh, point zero one kb it became after compression original is 40 mb right now click ok then the size would reduce like this then we have to save this file with a separate uh, file name yes here in the same folder we have to save so i will just write uh, edit fine 
uh, like a, to just have a different name okay now we have to press on create file okay create file now uh, after this we have to show as per the question what we have uh, take a screenshot to show how you edited the file and place the C how we edited that he wants to see just open and what we used and how we compressed it that we're going to show uh, like now I'll use print screen button okay I'll just take I just reduce the size then you do it even you can show the software you are using the whole stuff you can take like this okay then we specifically mention like a highlight uh, you know where we compressed it okay, this is area we can highlight it okay uh, else here from here onwards we can take is here uh, then here okay then just show what we did how we did the compression yes we can show here and what we are doing as well here the compression is like this now we can just uh, copy this and let's go to the evidence evidence 6 is it evidence 6 yeah evidence 6 over here we have to uh, place done save now let's get back to this picture manager now we have to save this as a different file edited file it is so file save as here in the same folder we have to save make sure you are saving in the same folder uh, 2016 folder that's 1631 underscore html folder they told us to uh, to put all our files in that uh, then just type in edit okay save create a new file okay let's uh, create the new file okay this is done we can close this yes okay now close now, again no more saving uh, when it comes uh, here to the folder this one this one we have to look for now yes so when you take the cursor over here you see the details of it item type is means the image type is it's two times I guess it's saved yeah let's delete this this one so you see the item type is jpg fine and 48 kb only it is just kb now this we can uh, place it in the uh, web page of the training let's see here here place this image in the web page 1631 maldives.htm so that it places uh, it replaces the text place image now let me open that first uh, go to front page now I'll close this file open now which one I have to open I have to go to my uh, folder I have to go to my folder 16 me June 3 1 uh, in this I guess I have my files Maldives yeah this one I have to open this is the one see place image over here right I'll just see the question paper place this image over there okay okay fine now let's open this here only this much here insert a picture from file then manta edit right this one we have to place now next 
as per the question done attach the style sheet 11 is totally done attach the style sheet saved in step 3 to this web page uh, to this in step 3 what did we say in step 3 what did we say which style sheet yeah this is the one where we are we started editing it fully and save this as a html in the folder and a 61 later we change it to even we added our name there okay that one we are. okay now we have to go uh, to format style sheet links add now in this this is the one along with our name okay okay yeah it will be added like this done now next let's go back here 12th is done fully replace the text uh, candidate name center number candidate number with your uh, details save the web page display the web page in your browser take a screenshot okay first let's do that details adding uh, edited by candidate name over here candidate name over there then center number then candidate number done just once we have to save it okay now we have to open this in save one more time to save it because we have to open it in the browser then we have to take a screenshot of it okay now let's go to the folder uh manta sorry maldives right it's maldives sorry uh, this one here there's a right click open with any one you can have any any browser just to open that here uh, here is the one uh, just tell a close other chat as well we can just reduce the zoom so that we can see the whole stuff okay now let's take the screenshot print screen then just whole uh, page you have to select then copy now let's go to the evidence it's uh, here evidence 7 is this evidence 7 yeah this is evidence 7 over here here is the one done okay save the word let's go back to the question uh, take a copy of the HTML source and place this in your evidence document okay go to um, front page and here code code you see there code click that and control a control c now go to evidence over here okay this is the code so this one is actually every evidence eight right and this is the one evidence seven sorry okay save the work now let's see what's what else left oh this is different okay done whole uh, 2016 paper 3 1 web authoring it's done 